What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news <clears throat> concerning Bob Arum. Now, this is what he had to say, but before I say this, okay, before I say this, this is what I this is what Bob Arum said before Joshua fought Pulev. Listen up. I know he's stiff. He got knocked out by Ruiz, but he's still... I don't know if I'm underestimating or overestimating. I'm telling you, Pulev is going to beat him. If Joshua wins, okay. And it's a different discussion. And then, obviously, if Fury wins the Samba fight, Joshua wins the 12th, the biggest fight out there is Joshua and Fury. So, those were the words of Bob Aram. Now... As Bob states, now this is what he says. He says, well, it looks like the stage is set for the biggest heavyweight champion fight since Ali Frazier in 1971 when our Tyson Fury meets Anthony Joshua for the undisputed crown. We at Top Rank will start on Monday working to put that fight together. Fuck. <laughs> Look. You knew this was coming. Bob knew it was coming. Making it a prediction is bold. It's bold, but it's at a level of uncertainty due to the fact that it hasn't happened. Now Bob Arum has to eat those words. That's what that means, okay? That's all that means. And what else does it mean? From here on forth, he now has to get himself prepared to make the biggest fight in heavyweight British boxing history. So Bob Arum was wrong. You know, he was claiming he was, he, he, look, he was proclaiming, he was prophesying. So was Kubrat Pulev. Pulev was game. He was tough. He showed durability, but that wasn't enough bars. And he paid for it because Joshua was coming. Joshua, because of the buildup, it was some bad blood in there. Bob Arum didn't make it any better with his shit talk. I think he added to the the fuel to the fire, okay? Because it was one of those things where Bob Arum talked so much shit, hyped, pumped Pulev up. Those guys became a team of shit talkers when it came to defeating Anthony Joshua. Why? Because it's always easier to count a guy out that you've already seen fall. Truth counterpunch okay just like people think it's easier for mr dw deontay wilder to be beat okay people are going to do that and they're going to find out that hey not everyone's tyson fucking fury okay so bob arum and kubrat pulev they share that pool of people that have to be counterpunched and this is it they have to eat the words you have to be responsible for your own claims. And what was what did Bob Arum say? But uh, Anthony Joshua's fragile. He's not a good boxer. Andy Ruiz is trash. <laughs> cool Brad Pulev will fight Tyson Fury for undisputed next year. He's going to beat Joshua. You heard the man. I mean, besides my impersonation, you heard the man. And that's what we have to look forward to. So, you know, Bob Arum, for you and everyone at top rank, be prepared to make the biggest fight in boxing history. You guys tell me what you think of Bob Arum's response to Anthony Joshua knocking out Kubrat Pulev in nine rounds. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.